How's it going, experts? I am so excited to see the work you've been doing so far in quarter two as we tackle nonfiction reading or real world reading. Remember that nonfiction means being an expert about what you love, whether that's BTS or sports or slime or Fortnite or anything else that you really care about. This is the quarter to become someone who knows everything about the thing you love. And in order to do that, you gotta pick the right books. Sixth graders, you've probably heard this a bunch of times over the years. It's all about finding a just right book. But one thing I'm going to challenge you to do is really, really get great at this. And the reason why is that two big problems often happen for sixth grade readers. They either choose something without thinking about it, or they choose it because they wish and they hope they were there, ready for a book, when maybe they need to read some books to be ready for that harder book. So when I think about just right books and I think about uh, <clears throat> picking the right one, I think about the three bears, and instead of doing the not too hot or not too cold, what we'll think about is making sure that a book is not too much of a snooze fest and not too much of a book that will make our brains feel like scrambled eggs. Trust me guys, I've tried to read both books that are both of these things and it never is very fun. So we want to find that sweet spot in between. Books that you love, that aren't too boring or too hard, that you can learn from. So as I check out these next three books, there's two steps that I'm going to follow. First, I'm going to check the titles and the picks in the back of the book to make sure that it's something that I would actually really like to read. Then I'm going to read on to find out if it's just right, that it's not going to be boring and it's not going to scramble my brains. So the first book that I was looking at was this book called Changing Seasons. Okay, And Changing Seasons, uh, right away, I don't know, was a topic that I wasn't that interested in, but I wanted to make sure for real. So I looked at the back, nothing too crazy there. And then I looked at the table of contact, table of contents. And as I browsed the list of topics, I realized that it's not stuff that I want to know more about. I know enough about the seasons for me. So for me, this would have been a snooze fest. It is not just right. Now, when I looked at this book, the topic itself was interesting to me. I want to know more about American government. and But when I turned to the back, I was starting to get a little nervous because I was seeing like quizzes and flashcards and online reader. So I decided to flip out open and find out if it was just right for me. And as I pick out a, just a random part here, I'm start, I want to make sure that it's not something that will scramble my brain, okay? Going public. Popular mobilization. Oh gosh, that's one word I don't know. It's a technique of presidential power. It has its historical roots in the presidencies of Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson. I don't really know that much about them. And so subsequently became a weapon in the political arsenals. I thought that was a sports team of most presidents after the mid 20th century. Oh boy, it's already starting to feel like my brains are scrambled. Now, I really, really want to read this topic, but before I get to a text that's maybe this challenging, I might try a topic on the American government that's a little bit, um, a little bit simpler so that I can build up those ideas before I go into a harder book. So officially, this is a scrambled egg brains book, and I'm putting it aside. So sixth graders, as you look through books today, when you find a just right book, a book that you love, but it's not a snooze fest and will not scramble your brains like eggs, record a little bit of you whisper or talking in a volume one voice as you read it to Just Right For Me on Schoology. Make a comment about why you love this book. Happy reading.